Today I'm going to show you how to cut up a mackerel class ship in Hard Space Shipbreaker. Let's go. So I'm going to use free play to show you, but you can 100% do this in the 15 minute timer in campaign. So you can grapple yourself to the ship, kind of easier method to get over there instead of just flying. Airlock pressure level dropping. So first things first, we're going to have to um, depressurize the whole ship. Really simple. Press this. Reopen the airlock because if you cut open if you leave it shut and then cut it open into it, it might, the airlock might still be pressurized. So you're just going to quickly open up the floor to drop anything that's in the hall. Then what I like to do is just tether the panels to the processor. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. And then I tether the um, the reactor to the barge. It's just easier and faster for, for you to do this. And then you just start emptying out the whole uh, cabin to make room for yourself to start doing more cuts. Now next you're going to go ahead and remove the roof. Now if you have a hatch, make sure to put this into the barge. Same thing, go ahead and tether the panels into the processor. I find it easier to attach the tether to a corner of the panel or a side so the tether itself doesn't, uh, de um, doesn't disconnect itself. Go ahead and remove the cockpit to the hull. And a simple method to push the cockpit away from the hull so you can get into the crawl space later is to just use your tethers on your hab.
Now, unlike me, I suggest hooking it near the bottom of your uh, of the ship that you're cutting into. So the door of the cockpit is aiming down at the barge. So you can pull the chairs and all that stuff out later. Quickly remove the glass. Sometimes it can be finicky to get like the right angle for the sides. So sometimes you'll have to do multiple cuts on the sides of the glass. Now, make sure to don't mess up like I did and cut up open the four supports that are in there with the coolants or else you're not going to be able to pull the coolant out. I did that one to show you guys that you can't just pull it out sideways like that. Now normally you would just push this off to the side and then attach a tether. But since I'm in free play, I'm just using the tethers. Go ahead and take the coolant off. You would have two if you didn't burst the first one. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. And then you would cut off the doors and then the little cargo containers just on the opposite side of the airlock door uh, also hold the door in place so take those out once you cut these four sides off and the door just pops off so then you can just grab all the computer parts and chairs and storage things but for this i'm just going to send this into the processor Since this is free play, I don't have to worry about the, the dead. Now next you're gonna go to the crawl space. Make your cuts in here. Don't forget to turn off the fuel from the fuel tank. Sometimes lasers can kind of ricochet, so make sure to just no do the line cuts instead. And here you can take the side thrusters off. Go ahead and tether these down to the barge. There's another one on the other side. Take the power salt and throw it on the barge. And then you're just gonna take some of the panels and start throwing them in the processor. But just to show you guys again, you're just gonna go into the crawl space. Turn off the fuel. 
remember to do the line cutter on the bits. Take the other thruster. I generally try to do these now. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. This is a very fast way to cut up a mackerel. Now in lesser leveled mackerels, you wouldn't have to worry about detaching the fuel tank. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Now I have not figured out a way to remove the airlock and the panels next to it sometimes stick to the airlock. So maybe if one of you guys do happen to know how to remove a airlock, uh, put it in the comments below. Help everybody out. Help me out of course as well. But since we can't take that airlock panel off, I generally go for the back side of the ship at this point. Make sure to cut this off. And then I use the pinpoint precision for your cutter on this one because you can cut into the back thruster. You just fling that into the processor. Now another little tip when you're pulling out the actual thruster itself and then just back up with it. And then tether it to the barge as well. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Then you just tether this back panel into the processor. Make sure to grab the second fuel. I almost forgot it here. And then since I don't know how to cut the airlock off, I just throw the rest of the ship into the furnace. You could go ahead and take off these aluminum like ribs off the side of the ship, but at this point I don't think they're really much worth it. And I'm just using a lot of tethers again, free play. Get another good opportunity to take off some of mechanical parts or electrical parts and you'll all do also notice we have plenty of time so this was really rushed I could have taken my time and probably finesse some more stuff out of the ship Now the furnace is a black hole, so you're good here. Go back to your hab. You should get around 2.2 million or 2.5 million. And I hope this helps you guys start paying off that debt with some easier, easier mackerel. The next is going to be the gecko. Thank you guys for watching.